mind and soul merging to birth creativity. I am a product of my hands, connected to my mind. My soul accepts. The mind conceives. My hands bring them to life. I am hands and minds. Albinism is the shade, just as human as you, with a little melanin, which makes me special. What was your reaction the first time you saw a shade of white amongst black? An albino. Did you view it differently? Did you treat him or her differently? Why? Why is a shade of white among a population of black so bad? What would you do if you were the black? So white, you get confused in the light. Even in our blackness as Africans, we differ in shades as we do in shapes. Albinism is just a different shade, but the culture is still the same. Nothing has really changed. How can you blame someone for something they know nothing about? Why should I be blamed for a shade I was designed with from the day I came from the belly of my mother. I am just another shade among the human race. My work talks a lot about acceptance and um, I want people to embrace themselves and feel you know, comfortable with themselves because I go through my own um, problems with that. So um, it just kind of popped up in my head one day when I was thinking of women figures I am focusing on. So um, I just thought, why not? Why am I not painting albinos as well? I mean, there are also black people as well. This must be part of the discrimination they might feel. Uh, you know, being left out of things and not being included in things that concern African people. And so from there, just um, led to more research on, you know, how they, you know, how they're treated and, and what they face uh, with their skin color. And so I decided to also include them in my paintings just to show that inclusion in my work. My name is Shigozi Obi. I'm an artist. Yeah, the Shades of Black series was created to share the beauty of black people, most especially albinos, highlighting the struggles as Africans in their skin. It aims for people to embrace themselves regardless of conventional societal standards. Um, I talk about a lot of things in my paintings, um, but mostly things that affect me personally and my society. My series in The Lonely Hour talks about um, depression and dark periods and it basically just connects to people who go through these periods as well um, hoping that they can reach out instead of going through these um, periods alone. Uh, 
Um, I just prepare my canvas first and then I take my photo references and uh, make my sketches and that's basically it. Um, no, I can really work in any condition as long as it's like comfortable. Um, music, any music goes and um, I guess a place that's just like cool and um, airy and uh, I'm good to go. Maybe the lighting. I use, I work with light and shade a lot. And also my figures and features, most of them are um, sad looking. So I think, or in thoughts. So I think people maybe can like say it's my thing from that. Um, I'm inspired by form and color. Um, I'm inspired by other people's work as well. Things that I go through and um, things that people go through, their stories, their experiences. Well, I guess, cause um, I don't really know. It doesn't dry so quickly. So it gives me, it's like easier to change things in the process of painting. Even like on the second day when I come back to it, I can still adjust some things cause it's still drying. So yeah, I would say, well.